that says you need to fucking acknowledge this? I acknowledge them, honey. I don't yeah. know why they still got me. What, do they block you? You acknowledge it takes them a few days to unblock you? I don't know. I immediately fucking acknowledge the third-party content. Immediately. As soon as I get that message, click, yes. In fact, one of them, I disputed it. You know why? Because I bought it from Zip Zap or Zig Zag or Jip Zap. <laughs> What are you talking about? The, the Nom Nom style. Nom oh, the oh the little dancing thing. Yeah, I bought that from Jib Jab to upload on YouTube, and they sold it with that content in it. <laughs> well, of course, that's the scam, probably. You should tell fucking Eric that scam. Because <laughs> all their, they'll get the revenue from the the most of the the. Sight. Yeah, I saw your I saw your shirt when I oh, wait. Don't shake the babies. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the fair? So how was the fair? Looks kind of Okay. Sparse. So if you thought that this was gonna be some technical party, you were wrong. <laughs> what, what 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 was it? It was more like um so I, I don't know. There's some bloggers. They kind of look like Justin Bieber. Right. The girls were like, "Oh my God, Joey is here!" I was like, "Who the hell is okay, Joey?" Okay, so. <laughs> so it was mostly fan girls. Wow. Who who came to see the guys who blog? Right. Right. Um, so, uh, it was a narcissistic fair. <laughs> I mean, I got to wear Google glasses. How was that? I don't even understand it completely, but. Uh, it, well, okay, first of all, you're like, like this all the time. You see how my eyes are? Because you're not looking at the person you're talking to. You're looking at the little screen. <laughs> well, it's, it's like a screen in front of you, isn't it? Yeah. You control like it with your eyes? No, I with no your finger. <laughs> how? How? How with your finger? You move it, your finger like this, or you can talk to it. It does do voice recognition. Oh. Well, voice. your finger's not out here. It's out. It, you're actually touching something on. Yeah, the you're actually touching it. So this is you know like as it comes around this way. This is where oh, the little okay. screen is on oh. your eye and that black thing that's on the side. That's well, you can go like this to okay, it, or yeah. go like this to it, or I don't know, go like this to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, that was cool. Right, right, right. <laughs> they had really interesting food trucks. Like, he did, you know, the event wasn't catered, he had food trucks come. Right. And uh, so they had really interesting ones, like there was a... There was one that did crepes, and there was another one that did lumpia. I don't. What is lumpia? Somebody told me it was Filipino food. There was no clue. Uh, yeah, there was. There was. Uh, oh, there was a sushi one. You know, I, I mean, had really interesting. That was interesting. But nothing technical at all. Well, I, you know, I, no. <laughs> right. Not surprised because there's nothing technical about this. Well. Well, <laughs> go to Walmart, buy a fucking computer, get a webcam, start yelling. Don't get blocked on Google so you can do your hangouts. <laughs> but see, we've already talked too long. See, the deal is, is we've already talked too long. So anything that's more than about a minute long is way too long. Okay, Did well, I don't up? care. I, so. I'm going to talk about my week because I haven't talked to you and I've got lots of things to say. Yeah, if they don't want to okay. watch it, I could give a shit. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, and oh, and they had, you know, they had some, uh, one of the problems was that the way the event was done, it was in this big warehouse, and he, you know, he sectioned off portions of that. Sure. Well, unfortunately, you couldn't, even if you were around where they were doing their little conferences or whatever, right. you really couldn't hear very well because of the way the, the building is. So it's not right. a good place to do, you know, little setups of 
you know, like a hundred people in a little classroom in an open place where all the other ambient noise is going on. Right, right, right. At least you need like some sort of sound absorbing wall type things. Something. It was it was just something was just not you know, so I didn't really stand around and watch any of the little presentations that they were giving. Okay. You know, so I mean there may have been something technical in that. I missed all of that. I just walked around and talk to people, and, uh, you know, they had some exhibits with, you know, like, they had some stuff about Hero, and there were, you know, Loot Crate was there trying to get people to sign up for Loot Crate, and, and Love With Food was there, and Parallels was there, and if I'd have paid for the $99 membership, I would have gotten here the $99 thing to get in, uh -huh. I would have got that, that, actually, the bag that he gave away, when you paid that, that full amount uh -huh. was incredible. It had like a thousand dollars worth of stuff in it. Huh. You know, he had some great sponsorships. But I, I didn't do that and I could I would have done it when I got there, but I couldn't. They wouldn't let me upgrade. Huh. So they would already sold out. Oh, right, because they probably had a limited amount, right? I understand. That makes sense. Right. So okay, here's the new cigarettes. Yeah, the e-cigarettes. Yeah, but yeah, I've heard of them. What the fuck ever. It's what you like, need to do is get. You know what you need to do. You need to get a vaporizer. One. It's all it is. That's right, but you can get a dry one, and you can do your. I think you can do your stuff in it. Right. Yeah, they have them. Uh -huh. It's like a little ceramic. You know, there's like a. It's like a little. I don't know. It's like the size of my phone. Oh Maybe. no, honey. They have them like this. And oh, oh, really? So they got them like that now. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but it, there, it's like you put it in a, like a little ceramic bowl, and then the bowl kind of heats up. There's some sort of like you know propane type thing, or is that that's like electronic? That uses like a battery, doesn't it? Yeah, it has a battery. Okay, so that's how it heats up. That's the. Heat. And this has oil, but they have them that are dry. That these, this one was like twenty nine bucks. Right. But it, I mean, it lasts the the the. Charge lasts all day if you just, you know, like I just plug it in at night when I go to bed. It's right. not like I need to be waking up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Do you, does it actually work? I mean, are you getting yeah. this, the nicotine? You know, uh -huh. I, everybody I talk to who does it, they're like, oh, it's, I haven't had a cigarette since I started it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, you know, <laughs> I can really use a real cigarette. But gotcha. I, 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 I'm, you know, I'm trying to give it a try. What, what's right, the word? right, right. How long have you been yeah. using it for? Two days. Two days. Yeah. And uh, how much? How many real cigarettes have you smoked? Uh, about four, but I don't have any more, so I can't smoke it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we, I mean, we'll, you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it works out. We'll see. Right. You know. And then, um, let's see what by, else. By the end of the day, you'll be running to the store. <laughs> so your phone broke, huh? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I unplugged it from my computer. Uh, it was fully charged. I set it down, and you know, five, ten minutes later, nothing. Won't turn on, no response. Well, you know, though, you were having a problem with it staying charged anyway. Right, like for maybe, like, I don't even remember what day it was that it broke, but I know, like, um, last Wednesday, I think it was last Wednesday, um, it didn't charge when we went up to, uh, on a road trip. You know, I was just using Google Navigation and, you know, the GPS were on, and it should have charged going on that, I mean, like, it was, had to be like a two-and-a-half, two-hour, two 40-minute drive. It should have completely charged, even using those two things. So, huh. And what's weird is, is so far, I swear I had like 4.1. It had updated to 4.1, and when I go and try to do that system update, it says that there's nothing available. Okay. Which I think is strange. All right, Jeff. 
here's another thing that got me going this week. <laughs> All right. So you know I posted, and I, I think you saw the ad that I posted for uh, on Craigslist to try to find a developer for. No, I didn't see any sort of ad. I didn't know that you did this. So. Okay, so I post this ad. Hold on a second, because I have to pull it up. Okay. Now it's 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 down right now because somebody marked it as spam, which it is not spam, but whatever. <laughs> it's like at this point I don't care because I did find somebody, but okay, so then I post an ad. It's really cute, right? Look, you can see it. You see it? Oh right, I can see them. I, I understand what they mean by spam. Because you okay, can well, the photo. But I put the, why does that look like spam? I it actually has a photo. It but has anyways. a photo? Yep. So anyways, continue. Okay. I said, and here's what I said. Here's what I say. Are you a geek girl? Interest, crafter, interesting, and extraordinary? So am I. Come on, girls. I know this is a tough industry for us to be in. Let's band together. Even if you're a geek boy, but you can appreciate and understand crafting. Maybe you knit or sew yourself. Maybe your mom or wife does. Let's get together and do a bootstrap startup. Okay. Now, let's talk about Heath Honeycutt. <laughs> Who starts emailing me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he starts emailing me, Jeff. Let's see if I can find his emails because he is a hoot. <laughs> now, and then that's the thing. He's he is a hoot, but he's really fucking smart. So I'm 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 confused as to how this got all discombobulated in his mind. But he, here's um, he said the first email he says sends me is. What would you think if you read a help wanted ad and it stated that only male applicants were invited? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say only male applicants were invited? Uh -huh. Okay. I said I did. I, I emailed him back. I said I didn't say only women were invited. They were encouraged. That's vastly different. Please read the posting again with a little more attention to detail. <laughs> so he so he emails me back, oh please, you don't want to admit to illegal hiring practices, but it's apparent you won't be hiring a male for this gig. <laughs> <laughs> My response is, you're wrong, Heath. But let me be clear, this is not a quote quote hire situation. It's a bootstrap startup. And if the person is qualified and interested in the idea, I want to work with them. Male, female, or billy goat, for that matter. Because <laughs> I'm on the thing about the goats in the backyard, right? Right. Okay. So I said, do you code? Do you craft? Have you ever done a bootstrap startup? Do you want to talk about it? Here's my name and my number. Oh, okay. So I don't hear anything for two days. Well, you know me. You're not going to leave it like that, right? So I said, I emailed him back, and I said, oh, you're going to call yourself calling me on whatever, and then when offered the opportunity to show me what you're made of, you're just going to fade away? Well, that's some passive-aggressive Pacific Northwest ponytail hippie boy shit. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh well, you have my number and I'm not hard to find since you have my name. If you think you got what it takes, step up. Dare you. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you are crazy. <laughs> now, I, look, I, I, you know what? I put crazy in the fucking box. Okay. So I, I mean I, I mean I took it out the box, okay? Cuz yeah. dealing with these idiots just makes me crazy. So he says, so he emails me. Now, now well, the way I'm going to read this email is I'm going to read this email by reading what he says. And then what I did was I did, uh, and I don't usually do that, but I did it in this case because I took it paragraph by paragraph and I responded to each one. Right, 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 right. Okay. 
So, and let me just let me just hit the highlights, okay? Amazingly, I haven't been amazingly I haven't been perched here waiting for your emails. I just read two in a row from you. I'm sorry, he doesn't realize that I track every time he opens my emails because people are stupid and forget that other people do that. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I, I just read two from you in a row. Well, that's not exactly true. He did read the second one, but he had read the first one before. <laughs> right. Okay. Mm -hmm. One offering to talk about the job, and now this crap. I'll say something non-sexist about you. You're as much of a jackass as any man I've ever met. <laughs> 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 I'm a jackass. Okay. My response to that is I can be. But like every girl, I do desire to be the center of attention and have my emails be a high priority. <laughs> You're just fucking with them now. No, pretty much. <laughs> I have I have zero Keith Honeycutt says. I have zero desire to work for you. Absolutely none. I usually don't work on websites because it gives people the impression I am less qualified than I am. Working on website junk is resume distracting, not to mention boring, and literally beneath me. How about that? <laughs> but he hasn't really stepped up. Oh, no, oh, no, I said, oh, no, so I, uh, I, so I can respect that. However, this is not strictly a web project. There is an application idea involved in it. Um, I can do most of the web work myself. I need a partner who can do the application development. In other words, it was never about sour grapes for me. I never thought, oh, there's a job I wish I could apply for as a male. My only thought was, wow, I wonder if that lady knows that her ad is blatantly illegal and that she could be punished by the federal government. Of course, you're no lady. <laughs> this kid, I am well aware of the EEOC. Hell, I come up against it more times than you know. In fact, I blog about it. <laughs> okay? You know, pretty much to this effect. Right. Here we go. Here we go. This is how wonderful he is. At the moment, I'm sufficiently... I'm accepting sufficiently technical work at $100 an hour. Okay. Why are you trolling the gig part of YouTube or Craigslist? But okay. Right, I, right, right, right. If you have, if you have example, any Fortran you like analyze for numerical convergence, I would ordinarily help you with that. But as a rule, I don't work for jackasses. <laughs> I'm rather busy and don't take on clients' work I don't want to support because I have plenty of clients whom I like so much and I give discounts all the way down to $25 an hour. Oh, so now we went down to $25. Is that me, that's $25. him talking or you talking? This is him. Right. So we went to 100 to 25, huh? Uh, well, to, to, he says to and he adds to me, $25 is like volunteering for a charity. <laughs> Seriously, oh, it's I'm, like volunteering okay. for a charity, huh? It, that's not volunteering if you're still getting paid twenty-five bucks an hour. <laughs> I know, for real. He says your ad is discriminatory, and you're not only a liar but a bellicose liar. Hope someone takes you to the e e o c c or e e o c. I said two points for a bellicose. <laughs> This is my response. And I'm not looking to hire. I'm looking to partner. Two totally different things. Right, right, right. He said, I've tried Startup Weekend and Angel Hacks, but everyone in those are into the $100 million exit ideas. Right. And they just recycle web startups that have already been done. Right. If I hear one more time, we're going to differentiate by clearing out the clutter. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> okay, because that's what you... Now, admittedly, this project has some recycle to it. 
However, the guy who did part of it is dead now, so nothing will be forthcoming from him. <laughs> okay, but here's where we peep his whole card. You know what's illegal, though? Not hiring people born in the U.S. Dot, 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 Juma Peely. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm just going to say for the record, you white boys had a good run. Okay, you're all the fucking world. You had slaves. You beat the shit out of your women. You treated your kids bad. You, you, you stole all the money from everybody and hoarded it somewhere in Switzerland. Okay, I'm telling you, y'all had a good run. Get over it. It ain't your world no more. Okay. Now you see what he was saying there. He didn't think I was he didn't think I was American because of that. And he goes on to say, one good reason to do to do that is you get fewer people who fought the law because they grew up in a second in second world cultures and never learned how to fit into modern society. Well, you little racist son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was that's that's classic too because he clearly didn't even bother to look. <laughs> I said, laugh my ass off. I was born in Ohio. Not only am I that American, but I was in the United States Army for twelve years. Yes, you don't know how to Google. <laughs> 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 wow yeah see see I, I you know I'm sure that happens probably more often than you realize uh, honey I was not you know what you know me I don't care I, 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 well, I, well no I mean but I'm saying that like people probably really think that like uh, they think you're a man <laughs> but from your name I'm talking about your name right they misinterpret your name as something entirely different because it is it's different. It's a different name and it sounds it sounds foreign. Foreign. That was black to me. That's what <laughs> that was like it's a black. black black or Muslim. Black or Muslim. Miss Mayla <laughs> <laughs> Really? Get the okay. Now Oh, you're still going. Oh, do you, think, oh, do you think? Well, you know what? I sent it to him, and he says to me, he says to me, now, 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 he says to me, did you see the news about Xbox One? What kind of unfortunate things were said? That's really kind of unfortunate things that were said like that. What's going on with Xbox One? I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Neither now. do I. Like, how old is this person? He's, uh, look, he's worked at Microsoft. Uh, because you know what? I know how to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I found his LinkedIn profile. How about that? <laughs> this is not a child, I would say. And he's well-educated. It's, it's a damn shame. You know what? He's a Whereabouts is he? Like, what state do you think he's in? He's here. Oh, in Washington State. Yeah, he's here. He's right up in Redmond. Now, when I get done posting these emails to my Facebook or to my, because <laughs> I'm gonna put him on full blast on my website. <laughs> I just need to really finish my fucking classwork today. Well, 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 have you ever seen the? Have you ever seen the that 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 website that has all those crazy emails? The guy just totally fucks with people via email. And then he posts all the emails. They're fucking hilarious. God, I have to find that. You've never, you've never seen that. I've never seen that. But you know, God, I have to find that. I want to give you a. I want to. You know, you know. I what I basically said to him in the next email was, you know, I'm trying to encourage women to work in this field, but I don't care if somebody wants to do. I, 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 where are you interpreted this? I, right. I don't know how you got. Clearly, to yes, because clearly the advertisement wasn't. An advertising it to hire anybody, it was you know, let's create a group that does the well that does this thing. Right, exactly. Right, I mean, right, 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 right. 
I mean, I don't. I mean, care. you know, I can, I can, I can speculate and everything, but you know. Well, do you have do you have a LinkedIn account? Yeah, I don't. I can't remember what my password is or anything like that. I changed the password like a week before it got distributed. I swear to God, like a week or two. So my password wasn't in the list. Becky's was. I'm pretty sure yours was. Um, Barrett's. Somebody else's. Couple well, the guys, reason why I'm, I'm, I was gonna, I was gonna show you, I, you know, and now that I think about it, now that I think about it, he said he looks familiar to me. A lot of people are familiar, you know. Sometimes they they just look familiar to me. Right, right. I mean, same with me. People, there's always certain people always have some sort of familiarity look to it. I mean, now that I really seriously, now that I, how did I, how did, how do you spell this? Why is it all of a sudden I can't spell? Oh, honey. Well, that's that's pretty funny. I mean, that's real funny. I know. I listen. Uh, this shit happens to me on a daily basis. Uh, <laughs> so like, you okay. continue on. You, you so you continue on with this. Does the discussion continue on or? Well, I, the last. I just lost your audio. Say again. Okay. Last time, oh, last time he emailed me, I just let it go. I mean, I said something, and he hasn't emailed me back, and so I think at this point we're done. Right. But I, you know what? Done and that's just done. one of the crazy people that emailed you. That, oh no, that was he. Really, you know, amazingly, there wasn't that many. There was not any response. Nobody's interested in doing anything. Okay. There's his LinkedIn profile. Uh oh. He's worked at Amazon, Expeditors, Microsoft. He went to the California Institute of Technology. All right. So let's see. He's, oh, I would have to log in probably in order to see it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. You might. I. You might be able to see. No, if you go to LinkedIn.com/slash/honeycut, you should be able to see his profile without being logged in. Yeah, it's no big deal. He's been working. He's been working <sighs> since 1993. He's an undergraduate. So he's our age. Huh? He's our age, probably a little bit older, like your your age. No, he's even a little bit younger. Really? What? I mean, are you fucking kidding me? This whole world is full of fucking whack nuts. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay, so. Now, what else is going on in my universe? Right, right, We're not right. even going to talk about Ding Dong down there at Kazo Marketing, LLC, who called me last night to tell me that the reason why he was trying to get the money back from the guy was that he paid him for the work before he did it, and then the guy quit. And I said, well, ain't you stupid. Is that the <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I, I kept saying, let me be clear. What you're telling me is... You don't pay, like, I don't go to work for you for a week, and then I get paid for that week? Oh, no, we, we were doing it the other way. I'm like, oh, well, hey, <laughs> did you have a contract? Obviously not. <laughs> right, 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 right. But that I don't believe that bullshit. And then he tried to tell me the thing about him, and he's, well, I have an assistant who reads my email. I'm like, who are you, Bill Gates? Right. What I'm not, you know, I'm in the I'm in the position now of doing research for the company. You've got six employees. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a buffoon? Who do you think you're talking to? Okay. Now, I'm not, you know, like I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the company. But you better get involved with the day-to-day -day operations of the company. Because obviously your assistant is a dumbass. You got some fucked up ass hiring practices. <laughs> you, I said, and, and I'll, I'll tell you something else. You had a fourteen year old interview with me. Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, he, well, he's not fourteen, but he might as well have been. Right, right. You had a fourteen year old, and I talked to Nick. And Nick said that it's not a problem what I did with his website. I said, you can get Nick on the phone right now. Freeway him. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get Nick Roach on the phone. I want you to three-way him. 
<laughs> do you know how to do three way or do you need an assistant? <laughs> 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 Right. So, what else happened? <laughs> Nothing happened for me. Nothing's happened to you? <laughs> my drama was my phone died. You know what's amazing? I realize, I just realized that if you post a job in the job parts of and not in the gigs part, you have to pay $25. Oh, really? For the Craigslist? On Craigslist. Wow, Which leads me to wonder why it is that they don't respond to people. Because they're actually paying for that service. Well, but they, I see so many of too them... Many, too many responses. I, I don't know. I don't You know, I, I, you, this whole thing about finding a job, I give the fuck up, really. <laughs> yeah, so back to the vlogging. How do you make money off of that? One minute. Well, I've made four video. cents since I started it. <laughs> Eighty-four cents. Four. Oh, four cents. Oh, yeah. Man, I, you're the rest rich. of it is on YouTube. I made some. You know. Rich. You can log in. You can log in. You have login, and you can what see the right there on the about? dashboard. Huh? What you have login to the to my blog. I don't understand what you're talking about. You have a login to my blog. You can log into the back end. Right. And right on the dashboard is the amortization. amortization. Oh, 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 of your blog. Okay. What about the YouTube videos? It's also included in there. Oh, okay. So four cents? Yeah. I think, I think Google owes me like 89, 90 cents or something all oh, together. Oh. <laughs> hasn't, hasn't been a buck yet, huh? <laughs> And most of it is older shit. You know, like the big money was, I don't know where the big money came from. But it came from. <laughs> 84 cents of that was something else. I'm not right, exactly right. sure what porn I had on my YouTube. So, I, okay, so now how long before they unblock me? I have no idea. I've never been blocked. I don't put myself in that situation. Well, I wouldn't acknowledge it when the, they told me. I think I have two or three that have content, and then and there are obvious con one. No, it's two. One is like a horse video of them in the barn. They're playing music over like you know a stereo that's loud, and it picks up the song on that. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And and it was the right song too. It was amazing. And then um, another one was these belly dancers at a belly dancing show. And, you know, that was like a really small room, so it picked up the music and that. So I was just like, yes, yes. And it was Im almost immediate. I mean, um, within 15 minutes of upload, less than 15 minutes of uploading the, the video. Well, this is all new. I mean, the videos have been up there for a long time, but it's like all of a sudden now. Right, probably because they weren't doing that. They're probably going through all the videos. One of the videos, one of the, the party video that I, I just uploaded. Oh, uh, my goodness, honey. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to take down those terrorist videos we made. Before <laughs> they hand them over to the NSA. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> it's just collecting, uh, they're just collecting evidence against us. Can you explain to me what, what they say to me? We're just collecting met metadata. Right. Can you clarify what the metadata is? Pretty, pretty much is everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, I just say it because I want, you know, they say that like they're like they're saying something. Right. Okay. Right. Well, you know, it's it's no big deal. I mean, I'm a little, you know, I, I, while we're on the subject of disappointments, let's talk about Obama. Right. He but is a constitutional attorney but you know this this all started with the Patriot Act so this is this is just another a continuation although it's a, a lot of everybody voted on this too and when renewing it so what I want to know is what how did this little crazy screwball that's like traipsing it all over China now he's probably gonna affect the China <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's traipsing all over Hong Kong and whatnot. 
He got a clearance. They let him in. He seemed to have, I mean, you'd have thought he was the president of the United States. The shit he claims he was able to do. And you don't hear him vehemently denying what he says. Because I think they're afraid he's going to pull out a whole card and show us. Oh, uh, uh, the, the, the Snowden guy? Is yeah. That what you're talking about? Possibly. Um, they're saying that he's probably may end up in Iceland. That's what he would talked about. What, what Iceland isn't going to send him back to the United States? No, to be they won't. And quartered? No, they won't. Oh, okay. Well, we can go to Ecuador. <laughs> Ecuador um, gave uh, Assange asylum. Gave who? Uh, what is his name? Julie Julian Assange, whatever his name is, the uh, the WikiLeaks guy. Oh, the WikiLeaks guy. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'd rather go to Iceland. I, I than, well, I mean, Ecuador is warm, but I, I'm I'm just seriously. This is. I mean, he had. I, I don't know. Was he listening to everything I said on my phone calls to you? Um, the phone calls. Don't say it, honey. Bomb, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, um, yeah, you know, whatever we do, like here, like on the the like Skype, all the chats were recorded and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really easy to do if it's not encrypted. If it's encrypted information, then they probably can't access it unless there's some sort of back door to the keys. But well, I, you know, somebody would have found that already. Uh, is what I'm. What I was thinking. I read Zuckerberg's vehement denial of this. <clears throat> we have never given the government direct access, but direct is the key word here. Right. right. Okay. Everybody, everybody really doesn't pay attention to the way people talk. Right, because they can't learn. They can't talk about it. I just want. Oh no! Now they want. Now they're saying. Here's like one. Here's, here's something that on. somebody just posted. Uh. <laughs> Home Depot co-founder, we should throw Edward Snowden a party. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I, you know what? I don't. I, you, I, you know what? Unless somebody does leak this stuff, I, he, he didn't. He, I, the thing that the kid did over there with the WikiLeaks, that was a little bit out of out of pocket because he released things that had people's names that could be killed in right, other countries. Right. 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 That's and, a problem. But this one basically well, but said, w w WikiLeaks was trying to trying to censor some of those names and stuff like that before we released them. But it, but this this guy he <laughs> hasn't really told us anything except for I mean it, it's not surprising information that he gave out. He's just right. saying yep. Uh, everybody really kind of knew out. it was happening. Right. Everybody knew it was happening, but he's the catalyst to basically tell everybody you you're fucked. <laughs> And well, this is fucked, like and you're fucked. <laughs> everybody appears to be upset about that. Right. So, you've got a six-person company, and you're already at the point where you're such the powerful executive, you need an assistant. Oh, jeez, I wish I could have an assistant. I know, for real. <laughs> I might actually accomplish something. That's ridiculous. That's, I, you know, I said to him, I'm running the company with 16 people. I didn't have an assistant. How can you not be involved in the day-to-day -day operations of, of your company? Some people are like that. I see. Well, are you wondering why you got people flipping out on you? <laughs> I mean, really, I, you're you know you're a small business. That means you, this is supposedly your. Okay, I hesitate to say it, but possibly, possibly, it's like that office supply store next door to Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I'm saying, because you're on, you're in the joke, the inside joke club. Uh -huh. Seriously, I mean, if you're gonna have, if you're not gonna run your company, 
that you should have competent people run your company, right. not idiots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People who are better than you. Hire people who are better than you. Right. You'll be you know, more successful. <laughs> well, I, well I, I'm really surprised that that's why I said, I, I, and I don't know how he's getting the, See, if I, if I could just translate how to get the business, oh, we could do this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know how he's getting people to pay him to do what he's getting them to pay him to do. Mm -hmm. But I can do whatever it is that he's doing it, and obviously do it better. Mm. Hell, I can do half of it with my eyes closed better. I mean, I just and I and in fact, one of the things that happened when I was at this event this weekend, Yelp was there. Okay. And I talked to Yelp extensively about taking my posts down. Right. What okay. did those, what I said, okay, people talk one, about? The first one I understand. Okay. But to come back and say on the second one, to take the second one down, uh uh. Well, it wasn't, you know, and we, uh, she read it. She said, oh, I know it. It said it's not first hand customer, customer experience. You're not a customer. Right. Okay. I said, but I'm providing information in this post that will tell a customer that they're getting ripped off. Right. But I, I but it, it's understandable from their point of position that you're not a customer. So whatever. Yeah, I, I had a long little talk with them. Right. But I understand. I understand their position. If it's the and I'm waiting to hear back from Parallels to see if I won that. 27-inch Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I entered with I took a they wanted to take a picture of me with my helmet on and their oh, yeah. t-shirt. And yeah. I let them do that. Yeah, you posted those pictures somewhere, I saw them. Facebook or somewhere, yeah, somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I have no idea where I post shit anymore. It's just like my phone feeds to like four or five different places. It's ridiculous. Right. Did you see the goats? Yes, I saw the goats. You saw the video of the goats. Are they eating the grass? Oh, uh, yeah, they're they're working their way through it. That's for sure. Really? Mm -hmm. And they're little goats. By the time they get to the other end of the yard, they're going to be five hundred pound goats. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, you like some goat stew? <laughs> Goat bacon. Oh, how about <laughs> this? I got a text from what's his name. Oh man, I don't what who's what's his name? From uh, from Andre. <laughs> oh God! So we got to hear this more because I got food right in front of me. And... Oh, oh I, yeah, I just got, I just got a text. From, well, I got a text from um, I got a text from him at eleven o'clock. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Right. Hey, Jumo Peely, I didn't forget to call you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told him. You reconsider giving me a job, I'll take everything down. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I, I, you know what? I, 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 but, and I, I told him, but I'm going to be your boss because you don't know how to run a company. <laughs> <laughs> I did better. I did better. I did better. I don't know what the hell he's doing down there, for real. I really don't. And there is no way on God's green earth I'm going to stop reading my own emails. I, 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 I just don't believe that. Do you? Right. Crazy. All right, so you want to go eat? I yes. talked. I, I now I got to figure out how to get this off of his shit and get it on the mall. Uh huh. Maybe by tomorrow I won't be blocked though. Right. Then I could do it on my own stuff. Uh huh. Blogger fair was fun though. I cool. mean, it was. 
Seriously, though, I'm, I'm surprised about the little fangirls, but okay, man, you know, they're teenagers. Right. Here's the one thing that got me about these kids. You are definitely right. They are not um, socialized. Right. Right. People and, have got to take and, their kids out like that. And you need to also understand that they – reality for them is – not. It is something they they think what reality is and what's being presented to them is a vastly different thing than actually the real world. <laughs> so they, they have no socialization, and I mean, if you thought you were like a psychotic as a kid, this is a whole never. Uh, yeah, and and well you know like how children have like fantasies of what you know you know what the world is going to be like a little bit but you know i don't remember that but i i mean i remember certain fantasies and i have recordings still of me doing it but but um there was always a sense of you know from socialization you knew the how the world worked you know even as even as in kindergarten, you went out into recess and had to deal with, you know, and things like that. And then that didn't end at the school, you know. You had to – it continued out. And that it, – it doesn't anymore. It, it ends at the school, and I swear to God, they're in school about three days a week now to begin with. We're making just drones. These kids aren't even drones. I know. I don't even think they're capable of doing drone work. This one kid, this one, the, the really interesting, like, because after meeting so many kids that were like 12 to 16, right, who were, you know, they're all like this in their phone or whatever, you know. And right. I mean, I'm like that too now. You know, I, 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 I often joke about how, you know, you find people in the room and you're all having a fight on Facebook. Right. But I, we're, I'm standing at the food truck, one of the food trucks, and this little 12-year-old kid behind me, he's talking, and he was so articulate and so, and I'm like, where is your, you know, where is your parent? And he's like, oh, he's in an undisclosed Starbucks location nearby. I said, so he didn't want to come to Walker Fair, right? But his father did turn up, you know, he was like, and, and he has a little, and he's like, I'm going to be famous. I've got 101 subscribers. And I said, well, you know what? You've got 102 now. YouTube. <laughs> I, I subscribe to him. He makes cute little videos, you know, for a twelve-year-old. And he's really—he was very precocious. Precocious, I think is the right word. Okay. I should. I should definitely uh, send Heath an email and ask him if that's the right word. <laughs> I'm a Bella Coast. You. I'm a Bella. Co well, hell. Yeah, tell me something I don't already know. <laughs> I don't think I'm a bellicose liar, but what exactly is the definition? Well, you know what? Well, I'm going to go and eat. You look up your fucking definitions. Um, bellicose? I'm like not even getting a definition. Oh. Demonstrating aggression and willingness to fight. Uh huh. I would say bellicose is probably a good description of me. Yes, yes. <laughs> the queen of bellicosity. <laughs> and with that, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>